Hi, Joel Rollins here for Rave Radio on the final day of setup for Infocom 14. And I am standing here with George Preston of Spinetics. George, thanks for being with us. Hi, Joel. All the way from Switzerland this trip. Yes, actually, I've come from the UK. I've been there. And uh, it, you, you're setting up a very dynamically interesting booth here. I'm taking a look at some very high-res stuff running on the video wall that we can't really show yet because they're still in the middle of setup. But how long has it taken you to get the display together this year? Well, with this content, we're actually looking at a 24K video wall. So handling that content offline before we even talk about the players is challenging in its own right. We have a photographer in Switzerland who takes these amazingly high-resolution photos. Uh, um, they're actually such high resolution that we only display a small portion of them. Getting that content into a project, thankfully, is quite easy. Our software makes that fairly simple. And then it's a case of uploading them to the players and then going through the tedium that probably a lot of people know of of calibrating all the displays. And is this the key to showing all of that? That's it. This tiny box. So there's one of these behind uh, each display when you do a Spinetics video wall. There's no central controller. There's nothing else required. 24 of these players, they're just connected together over the network. As long as each player knows where it is in the array, it just displays its own uh, aperture of the content. So you really don't need a lot of rack space for these, do you? Absolutely not. No server either. All the content resides on each device. So what's new for the show this year? This year, we're really going to be focusing on the built-in software that comes with the device. So there are, there's a desktop suite uh, called Elementi, which is uh, most, uh, a lot of our users will know. Fusion can be switched on on the device. The real nice feature about Fusion is that it allows you to get uh, up and running with content straight away within a few seconds of plugging it in. So that's really what we're going to be trying to show off. Now, I understand that you have a partner that you're working with here in the United States. We do. We've got Convergent Systems. They're part of the Ballantyne Strong Group. They've got a national reach. They've got fantastic training facilities. Uh, Brian Smith and his team uh, can also help with vertical integration. Uh, any sort of uh, project consultancy as well. They're going to be on the stand. Sorry, they're going to be on the stand. At least three or four of them all the time. Sounds excellent. So, what's what you know? In technologically, what are you doing new this year? Well, so we've got this very, very uh, high resolution content uh, on the players. Technologically, what we're doing is what we've always done, which is to exploit the power of the device to its maximum potential. So although we are, uh, we're only using three, four, five watts of power, every year we show how we up the ante with what's possible while keeping the platform consistent. That's what people like about Spinetics, the idea that they can learn the platform, learn the software and the hardware, and know that it doesn't change from year to year. But that doesn't mean that, the, that what's possible with the players doesn't improve. Now, we're standing here in what will be the very center of the Digital Signage Pavilion, which is a great place to be, I would imagine, although fairly challenging as you're surrounded by your competitors. What makes you different? What makes Spinetics different is actually very simple. It's simplicity itself. Instead of having five, ten or more players and a whole range of different software options, we've got a very, very simple hardware lineup. It's just two devices. The platform on the devices is the same. So when you know one, you know the other. One's slightly more powerful. Uh, and then we've just got those two pieces of software. So the built-in content manager called Fusion, which is free with the device. Switch it on on the device. If you don't want to use it, you can switch it off again. No licensing required. And then Elementi, the desktop software. So to get your head around, about, around digital signage, I think Spinetics is a great place to start because you haven't got to start thinking about cloud servers, edge servers, networking, and all this kind of thing, which is really kind of superfluous when you're getting started. Yeah, I can certainly see that. I mean, one of the things that I'm looking around, uh, coming from an integration background, looking around at all the booths, there's an awful lot of hardware everywhere, and your booth is uh, very, very clean. So uh, if this is it, this and the software, then it probably is a great place to get started with digital signage. If, if you were to be starting as a Spinetics dealer today, yeah. what do you start with? What I really recommend, uh, what, what we, our successful dealers have found, is that finding a vertical, finding a niche, focusing on that, building a whole product offering around Spinetics. So maybe you include other products like the screen and training and installation, but also content. We, the content generation tools we give you as Spinetics, on top of the content and widgets we get you, give you to get started, mean that you could focus on your segment, whether it's in your local area, or there uh, is a particular need for education, we can give you tools for education. Brian Smith and his team at Convergent have got a very, very nice content library for other verticals as well. So I think with dealers, that's what we've really found. Taking a vertical, taking a slice of something, building an offering around it, and again, knowing that Spinetics isn't going to uproot everything and change again in six months' time. 
So what you're saying, I mean, everybody in this pavilion is saying content is king when it comes to digital signage. And you're saying that as a dealer, you could start me out with content. We can, we can give you the tools to get started. I'd, I'd say uh, probably 40, 50 percent of all the phonetics installations around the world are using the basic content building blocks that we provide with the software. And since there's no signage up yet, what booth are we in? We are at booth N1751. N1751, and folks, for those of you who are going to be attending the show, they are, from what I can see, dead center of the digital signage pavilion. And you'll see a very, very large and very high-resolution spinetics wall when it's done, and we'll be back during the show to see it. George, anything that you want to tell our listeners before we move on and let you get set up? I would urge everyone uh, to come and see us on the booth. Uh, one thing we're going to be encouraging everyone to do, but I want to say it now again anyway, is check out our website. Download the copy of Elementi. It's a free trial. It's fully functional. It lets you do absolutely everything, including create video walls like this. One of the unique things we could do with Spinetics is that the software includes a virtual player. So you can make content. There's no watermark. There's no restriction. You can plug it into a panel. You can see exactly what your content would look like before you've even had to make any investment at all. So you're saying if I wanted to experiment with the Spinetics digital signage system, I could download your software and actually emulate the system before I even bought anything. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a great competitive advantage. George, have a great show.